Oh, so what does shaving cream, planets, art, and science have in common? I'll tell you, it's science. Rick Croslin here with a science lesson on the planets and shaving cream, and it's all about forces. So today's lesson has to do with a little bit of chemistry, a lot of science, and some art. Now, I am not an artist, but I love art. The entire world is made of matter, and matter takes up space and has mass. But another property of matter is that all matter is made of molecules and atoms, and those atoms have charges. They have electrons and protons and neutrons, and all those charges hooked together and that's how the stuff is made. And so today we're going to talk about things that love water and things that hate water. See, I was shaving earlier and I was using some shaving cream. Now, when I shave, I put some water on my face, that's hydro, and then I put some shaving cream on my face and I shave. Well, see those two things together, water and shaving cream, they don't like to mix. See, one of them is hydrophobic. That's a, it pushes things away, negative charge. And another one is hydrophilic. And so when you put water on your face and you put the shaving cream on there, it holds the water in and then you can shave. But I brought some things today, some food coloring and some shaving cream, and we're gonna make some planets. And one of my favorite planets we're gonna make is Jupiter. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, and how you can do it at home, but we can also make stars like the sun. To do this project, you just need a few things. A paper plate, some shaving cream, food coloring, a couple toothpicks, a ruler, and some paper. The first thing you need to do is get you some shaving cream and shake it up. And you wanna put a layer of shaving cream. You don't have to put a lot. And this is some old, cheap shaving cream, but hey, it's good stuff. And then what I like to do is I like to take my ruler and make it kind of flat, okay? Hey, you don't have to put a lot of shaving cream, but you want a nice... Now remember, the shaving cream is hydrophobic. It does not like water. And the food coloring has got water in it, so it wants to get away from the shaving cream. So I'm going to put a couple drops... This is kind of fun. And this is where you get to have some imagination. And so that food coloring kind of floats on top of the shaving cream. And here we go, boom, a couple colors add. You know what, uh, um, less is best sometimes. And this is food coloring, so make sure you're not wearing your best clothes. <laughs> You'll get it everywhere. One, two, some blue. And this is the fun part. And a little bit of red, because. Uh, I think if we're going to make Jupiter, we need to have a red spot right about there, maybe. All right, then I take a toothpick, and you just want to do a little bit of, just a little. Less is best. Storm on Jupiter was actually seen by Copernicus oh, over 400 years ago, and the Earth would fit inside of that giant storm. That is so cool. All right, so that is that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to put a few more drops in there and maybe some some lines like this. All right, there's our first our first trial. And now I'm gonna take a piece of paper and I'm gonna put it on top. And now we should be able to transfer that color, the food coloring onto this paper. Here we go. So I put it on here and I tap it down. And now you can do a bunch of these, but when you, as soon as you pick it up, look at what it does. That is so interesting. I still have this one to do. So I'm gonna put this here. Now I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna give it a, a streak and see what happens. Ready? Here we go. Here's my streak going across. That is so interesting to me. So you can do it once and leave that, or you can get another one. And it still has, if you look at that, it still has food coloring embedded. And this time I'm gonna give some wiggly lines. Look at those wiggly lines. Those look like some of the cloud bands on Jupiter. And I can make it go in this way, maybe that direction. And if I like that one, I'll stop right there and I'll do another one. And oh, you know what? 
Let me let me show we also we can still use this. This still has plenty of food coloring on it. Hydrophilic, hydrophobic. Hydrophobic, it pushes away. Hydrophilic, it sticks to it. Pat it down, rub it, lift it up. Oh, I got myself a red finger. I stuck my finger in the great red spot of Jupiter. Oh no. Uh, lift it up. Look at that. That's so interesting. And each one is unique and each one's different. And you can you can actually make cards. You can make decorate. So I hope you have some fun with this project. It's about chemistry, it's about aerospace, and it's about science and art and fun. Make a book, make a planet, make the great red spot on Jupiter. I'll see you next time.